Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, the title says everything. I've had the Galaxy Fold for 30 days, it didn't break. So let's find out how I actually made it last. So remember when the Galaxy Fold first came out? Um, out in about May or so? And there were issues back then. I got a Galaxy Fold from Samsung at that time. I had no issues with my device. I was sad to see it go. Had to wait all the way to September to get another Galaxy Fold. And I've used it for about a month or so, roughly. I've got to say, I love the device. I, I've been waiting for a foldable for a very long time. Uh, at least just in my own head. Uh, because I love technology. I love seeing this. And when Samsung announced it, I remembered, I'm a big fan of Westworld and all the devices, the smartphone devices fold multiple times in that. So I was like, yes, thank you. And what's the experience been? Now, speaking of experience, when you first get the Galaxy Fold, uh, you open the box, it's got care instructions, a list of things that you should not do. Don't press the screen hard or else you might damage the screen. Uh, don't fold it with keys or devices. Uh, you might damage the screen again. A device is not water dust resistant. That's there too. Uh, device uh, uh, didn't use adhesives or films and your device contains you know, magnets. So there's a lot of things. This is that make you go like, oh, should I buy this? And you know, rightfully so, you can, you can think that way. But here's the thing, it's priced at one, 1980 right 2000 bucks roughly or plus with the tax and it's not a cheap device so treat it as a premium device that's just the thing you have to do now for me i treat all my devices with care so it wasn't a hard thing to adjust with the galaxy fold i have to say using the galaxy fold has been a great experience this is something that you do have to use and and that's the best part about the fold. Like I've seen other YouTubers, I've looked at some of their, just their tweets about the fold and everyone who has gotten the device has said, wow, it's much better than I thought. I'm like, yeah, I've been saying this. I said it the first time when I got the fold. People were chastising me and saying, well, you got it from Samsung, so you're being a Samsung fanboy or, you know, whatever, right? And, you know, I looked at it and I was like, no, you just haven't experienced this. Like, look, it's not, it's not a regular phone. It's not a regular, you know, it's not a rectangle that we're used to. No one has seen something like this before. Yes, there will be issues and there are issues. Some of the issues may linger, I've, I don't experience them in the sense that, look, we saw Zach's video uh, and San, you know, can still get in, Dustin can get in. That is very true. Uh, but I've not had any issues with this device whatsoever, right? Now, speaking of the things that I do like and my usability, one of the biggest things that I do is game. I game on smartphones. Uh, I also have a separate gaming channel. Go check that out. That is really more just gaming and gaming accessories and things like that. But I did a video on gaming, you know, playing Call of Duty Mobile on the Galaxy Fold. Uh, Call of Duty Mobile, I've been playing that quite a bit now. And the Fold to me is my favorite mobile device to use. I've got a bunch of mobile devices in the house. There's tech tobos, there's a lot of things to play with. And the devices with 90 Hertz displays. And look, 90 Hertz is cool. I get it, right? Doesn't do doesn't do too much for me. That's why you don't see me hype 90 hertz as much. Uh, and it's great when you game, but I love the real estate. I love to see more. I love that space. That's why I like big TVs. And this is like the big TV for smartphones, right? You've got enough screen real estate to play your game. So you're playing Call of Duty Mobile. Whether you're playing, you know, PUBG Mobile as well, and you know, you're going through that. Again, that real estate is needed. Or even Fortnite, you know, chapter two which you know everyone now is probably played. I'm trying to get into that game. Like it's, I'm, yeah, I just cannot get into Fortnite. But that being said, right, this thing is great for gaming. Yeah, the notch can be a little annoying. And Samsung, please take that out. Next year with the Galaxy Fold 2, please just give us a hole punch or something. But that notch just needs to go completely. But for entertainment, this is this is great. So I love using this for that. I love using it to watch movies, content. I took a flight to Seattle for the Amazon event and man, like six hours. I didn't use the, I didn't watch anything uh, in, in, in flight entertainment. It was my fault. Like I literally opened it up and I was like, okay, like I'm good. Like I could hold it up, I could prop it. Uh, I could put it up somewhere and watch, but I've got 7.2 inches. That screen real estate really is nice. 
it's nice to have. It's nice to have when you're looking at content as well. When you're scrolling through a website, you're reading news and you're looking down or even you're looking at Instagram. Yes, you know, Instagram needs to still improve the app because I think it's not at the highest resolution for the screen. But the real estate looking at images is so nice to do, which is really good. Now, multitasking on here, which is one of the big things about it, is nice. I do three apps. I usually do Twitter, smaller, scroll, and I also have maybe like uh, my, I will have uh, Instagram, the larger one, Twitter, the smaller one, and I have like emails kind of just quickly go through. I like using that with this device. I wish it had an S Pen. That's where this device will truly take it to the next level. Now, you probably can't do that with this display or how this display is built. I need to see that soon, Samsung. Uh, and I also look at this device kind of like the Galaxy Note. The first Galaxy Note, I was there for that uh, in terms of just being a tech YouTuber that's been in this industry for a while. I saw that device and I was like, this is the future because there were so many tiny phones. I've got big hands. Look, I can hold this with one hand easily. And there were huge phones back then. I mean, just small phones back then. Now we've got big phones. Everybody has a big phone. So, I think this is our next evolution for smartphones and what we do, how we use it, you know, that kind of stuff. I think this is where we go from talking on the phone to open it up and then we start typing and do whatever we want to because you've got the real estate for it. Now it needs to change, it thinks it needs to be fixed. The front display is small. It's not as bad as everybody yells or tries to yell because you ask them, they're like, yeah, you know, it's nice. It's great for consuming content quickly and also it helps me limit my time. It's for, you know, like, Barriers like this, which are self-imposed, do benefit. Um, but I want it to be bigger and more useful in the next generation. Also a little bit slimmer as well, right? That, that, that will go a long way. The fingerprint sensor needs to be the power button. Um, I don't like just the power button and fingerprint sensor here. Just doesn't do anything for me. Another thing I would like, which I do like the speakers, um, and check out our speaker test to see, see that. The speakers are great. They're loud, they're clear, they're dual speakers. I kind of wish they were quad speakers and I wish it, the two, so I look at, put it this way. The speakers closest to the, uh, the front display should only turn on when you're using the front display. When you open it up, you should have a quad speaker set up and then those four speakers will actually work. Because when you're gaming and you're using it this way, the speakers are right here. And it's fine, but if you flip it around and your screen is at the bottom, then your speakers are at the bottom and you tend to cover out your hands, right? So you always have to flip it around this way. And it's better to game this way so you don't actually touch the screen. Um, but speaking of which, it's still got a lot of the things you expect from a smartphone. Wireless charging, built in, right? Uh, it's got fast charging with the cable, Snapdragon 855, 12 gigs of RAM, UFS 3.0, a lot of storage comes with, of course, the Galaxy Buds as well. So you do have a lot of things that still add in there. But I think, look, I just love using this. I love, like, I go to bed. If I want to read in bed, I can really open it up and I can just lay back down and read. Look, I think this is the future of smartphones. We know our, um, uh, Motorola is going to be announcing its own, you know, foldable device pretty soon. Uh, we also know that Huawei is coming out at the end of the month. This is the change we're gonna see, and we're gonna see that change come forward. We've seen what, um, you know, um, uh, Jami has done with the wraparound screen. So things are changing, and I think people should look at it that way. Yes, this is a first-gen device. Yes, it's not for everybody, but I'm glad Samsung made this push. Look, we gotta have innovation to change. We can't stick with rectangles all the time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. If you like this video, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, if you've got a Galaxy Fold, I want to hear your experience. Let me know what you think. Also, if you want that Groot wallpaper, I'm sure you guys are talking about that. The link's for you are down below as well. Uh, I'm looking to check out more cases for the Fold. I do like this case here that comes with it. It is nice. Uh, this has helped it because I've dropped it twice. Just twice. But it's been great. No scratches, nothing to it. I love it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entity.